In this video, I'll show you how to always get the bag you want to appear in the dungeon shop. The first thing to note is the shopkeeper will always sell the bag that frees up your inventory the most. So if you have more scrolls taking up your inventory, the shop will have the scroll holder in supply. If you have more potions, then the potion bandolier will be in supply, and so on. The next important fact is this determination of which bag you need most only occurs when you first descend to the floor containing the shop. So if we just beat the goo boss, as soon as you descend to floor 6, the shop will already have spawned the bag you need most. Now we can use this information to make the shop spawn any bag we want. Before descending to floor 6, if we wanted to get the magical holster to charge our wands faster, I can simply drop all other items that aren't wands, throwing weapons, or bombs because those are the items that the holster carries. The game will think we need that the most, since those item types are the ones taking up the most inventory space. And sure enough, the wand holster is for sale. Let's try a different experiment. Load a different game first. Beat Goo again. Only left 4 potions of one type and 3 scrolls of different types in my inventory. Which bag do you think will spawn? The potion bandolier or the scroll holder? Once again, the game gives us the bag for the items taking up most of our inventory slots. In this case, it was the scroll holder since scrolls were taking up 3 slots, even though technically we had more potions. The potions were of the same type and stacked, only taking up 1 slot. I usually don't use this trick very often because I go with whatever saves me the most space, but it's certainly useful for scenarios where you might have three high quality scrolls, such as a lullaby, transmutation, teleport, and four lower priority potions. In that case, you might want to force the shop to spawn a scroll holder instead to protect the higher value items. Another scenario is if you're finding a lot of good wands or throwing items. So in that case, a magical holster would be more immediately helpful for the recharging effect it has on wands and making throwing weapons last longer. I hope you found this tip useful. It's just another way to gain a slight edge during your games. Thanks for watching and see you next time.